Coach, this is obviously a tremendous opportunity for a team. Not many teams have this opportunity. You've done it before, but what, what's special about this group and why do you feel like you're at this point right now? Uh, the 2015 team is special on the field, but I think more importantly than that, they're special off the field. I think the focus in this group has been apparent since day one. Um, there's been teams in the past where I've had to talk about getting out early and doing the extra work, and that's just never been a topic of discussion with this group. When we open the gates, there's five people there waiting to go in, and before training starts, the whole team's out there doing the little things that they need to be successful. What's the mindset of the group this week? Uh, just focus, laser focus right now. They want every little detail. They want to see all their video clips from this past game. They want to uh, refocus on Rutgers, and uh, everything is about Rutgers right now. How, in terms of the precision of the way you guys have played in the NCAA tournament, what can you see from a coach's perspective when you watch all the film and you see little things? How, just how impressed are you with how pre precise everybody's been on the field? The, the precision overall with this team is um, is really impressive, but more importantly, these leaders uh, have set the stage for it. You know, I think the work that they do day in and day out, I think the standard that they set, you can see it in this team. You can This 2015 team certainly refre reflects this senior class. Why has the defense and specifically the back line been so successful? Well, first and foremost, because of Britt Eckerstrom. She's the one that leads the charge. She's the one that gives them confidence. She's the one that has been patient with them all along, um, which has been necessary with such a young group. But their growth and development has been a huge part of their success. It's not about where they are necessarily right now, but the journey that they've gone through together, the mistakes that they've made, the way they've picked each other back up, um, I think that's why they are so special right now. How important has your midfielders, how, how important has that group been to your success in the NCAA tournament? Well, I think the... I think the women's soccer, Penn State women's soccer midfield, center midfield group are three of the best center midfielders in the country with uh, multiple weapons coming off the bench, different pieces coming off the bench, a lot of young pieces. Um, but right now, Nick Therese and Emily Ogle and Raquel Rodriguez um, are playing as a unit, and they look for each other, they combine well with each other, and they have faith in one another. So much balance in terms of scoring. How much fun is that as a coach to see so many different players score goals in the, in the tournament? Um, you never know where it's going to come from. You know, I think each match starts and uh, attacks begin, and you're not necessarily looking for the one player up top or the one player wide. Um, you really never know where it's going to come from, and that's what makes it even more fun um, celebrating each goal and each different goal. We keep a chart up in our locker room of how different, how, how all of our goals have been scored, and the variety has been a huge key to our success. You're seeing Rutgers for the third time this year. What are some little things in your mind that you know you need to do well on Friday to have success? match the physicality of that team. They're certainly one of the most physical teams that we play all season long. Um, mentally, make sure that we're in the right place. I think we're going to have to match our intensity of the Big Ten championship game and even bump it up a notch. And I think the, the focus that we needed to be successful in that game um, was evident, uh, and it's going to be more important on Friday that we, that we bring a similar type of focus. Finally, Coach, on the sports biggest stage on Friday night. It just has to be fun this week for the program to be in that position. What are your thoughts? Um, just grabbing each player and groups of players and talking to them about the journey and just making sure. Um, what I've appreciated about this team all along is that they've really invested in each other off the field. And so I think that they understand the idea of, um, sure, it's about the championship, but the journey is, is what makes it most fun. And, um, and that's one thing I'll look back at this 2015 team is I think they really appreciate, appreciated each other along the way and the experience. Coach, congratulations and good luck on Friday. Thank you.